I bought Ryan Trahan's new candy. It literally says it's his candy. And it also came with some stickers and an air freshener for the car I totally have. And no, Ryan Trahan isn't like the CEO or the founder of Droid Candy in a way that Mr. Beast and Jimmy is to Feastables. But he is like the chief like creative officer and I gotta say he's doing an amazing job at that. And this video is going to be praising him a bit reviewing him as a YouTuber while trying his candy that I got that is currently sold out and he's actually coming up with four new flavors soon. The first of the upcoming four flavors is like strawberry ropes and he's like slowly revealing them through like creative YouTube shorts. It's, it's all a pretty interesting process that I'll talk about. But let's first try this one that's kind of matching my shirt and my watch brand. That's sour blue raspberry strips. And what's so special about these is that there's three servings in here, 210 calories in total, but only 12 grams of sugar. So there's less sugar in this than in my protein bar that I eat every morning before I go to the gym. This has, I think like 18 grams of sugar. Let's see, yeah, 17 grams of sugar. And then this only has 12. So, I mean, I'm expecting it to taste good because it has sugar in general, but let's see how good it tastes. And I promise you, I'm gonna give my honest thoughts on these sour blue raspberry strips, just like uh, Ryan Trahan's wife did. I have our cherry berry rope. I want your honest reactions, okay? Honest? Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. And we have a little logo of Ryan Trahan on the top right corner. I've never tried the other Joyride candies, even though this is kind of like a whole new product line for them. I'm not gonna eat the whole bag because I'm gonna save some for later. I mean, I have a feeling that these are gonna kind of be like Airheads or those like rainbow sour strips I had in school. Both candies are amazing. Let's see how these compare as Dulce is in the camera. I can certify that these are tasty. And you could kind of see how it has less sugar, but I like how it has less sugar because those like rainbow strips, they have so much sugar that like, you get like a sugar blast, like when you just take like two bites of them and you're like sick of the flavor after like just a, a few bites. But this, I'm biased, but it's quality. So now before I try the other three flavors, the sour pink lemonade, the sour strawberry strips and the sour green apple strips. I wanna talk about what Ryan Trahan does right as a YouTuber and obviously he's a super successful YouTuber. Probably does content that's like 70 times better than me. You could have like my 2000 subscriber ratio compared to his like, I don't know how many subscribers he has. I think it's around 20 million. Whatever that ratio is. Yeah, his content is like a thousand times better than mine. But he also, does live in Austin, Texas, which is one of my current US favorite cities right now. He is a former runner. He did D1 running, which is insane. His 5K PR is minutes faster than mine, which is very impressive. He loves Chipotle burritos, and we both read Happy Place, a rom-com book. So other than those factors and the fact that he's a Houston Texans fan and actually announced a pick at the NFL draft, I wish I could do that for the Mommy Dolphins. That's probably a, a fan's dream to do it for their team. I wanna talk about how he structures his videos now and like, I wanna say like, what's the main thing he does right in his videos? Because I mean, now his videos are mostly around traveling vlogs. What's super interesting to me is that he kinda of created a YouTube trending concept of doing like one star or five star Yelp reviews and that like YouTube type of concept. I'm pretty sure he's like the creator of it because he mentioned that concept on a Colin Samir show and everyone around him was like, oh, that's a brand new concept. So I, I think he's the originator of that idea. I'm pretty sure if not, like he is definitely one of the early ones to it. And now other people are copying that idea, which shows how a little bit of a creative genius Ryan Trahan truly is. But I'll be talking about his videos now. And honestly, his life journey is inspiring. He kind of got tied in with the whole NIL situation just like destroying and destroying is now playing for a UFL 
football team, which is so awesome that he's living his dreams to be paid as a almost NFL kicker. He might be an NFL kicker if he's good enough. And Ryan Trahan has a very similar journey. He also had to drop out of D1 Sports because of his growing YouTube channel. And his YouTube channel like had several evolutions. It was it started out as running. And I actually watched a couple of his running videos all the way back like years and years ago before he's his big personality now. Then he transformed to reaction videos. I never watched his reaction content. That's never really been a type of content I've been interested in. But now he's travel vlogging and like he made a video traveling to all the OMG Airbnbs and that's like my dream. I wish I could go to the Idaho potato in like Boise or around there. Let's try the strawberry strips. I definitely need some water to wash down that sugar. I would say I'm more of a fan of chocolate than like candy like this, but this is still good. And I haven't tried the new Feastables bars yet, version two. All right, strawberry strip, try. And uh, these are vegan, by the way. I'm a omnivore eater now, so I don't really care too much as vegan, but that is neat. I wonder what makes the other candies not vegan. So you can just tell from the coloring that these are like a light, faint pink. But I mean, I'm a proponent of like, I wish all soda was just clear. I don't really know why they add artificial coloring to sodas. Same thing with these candies. You don't really need to add artificial coloring. Hmm. Way more of a low key strawberry flavor. It's good. It's good. Definitely doesn't taste bad. For me, that one was all right. I prefer the the blue raspberry strips more so far. So one, two. So in my opinion, what Ryan Trahan executes so very well as a YouTuber, other than him like creating innovative type of YouTube ideas, other than like you know the, the one star, five star Yelp reviews I just mentioned, or doing the penny series, which I didn't really see anyone else do, especially like going from one edge to the US to the other edge. That took commitment and I just definitely respect him for that. I mean, that's an awesome challenge just doing that and how he did it and raising money for charity along the way. That's all like awesome. And also his thumbnails, I give him credit. It's like simple yet so effective and that's what you really need a YouTube thumbnail to be, at least according to Jimmy from Mr. Beast, the number one YouTuber. He should know what he's talking about. But um, I think he is a masterful storyteller because of how authentic he is and how of just of a human touch he brings to everyone around him. And it's just an aura of just like human authenticity that comes around him, whether he's hanging out with his wife or his dog Spock, who is like an actual character in his stories, which is awesome, or his dad, or just random strangers he meets along the way. Like you could evidently see this in the Penny series. He is socially awkward, but he is just so fearless and just feels like he brings joy to everyone that he meets and just creates these like adorable interactions with everybody. Sour pink lemonade strips. I'm so glad that there's not an orange artificial flavor or a grape artificial flavor because frankly, I hate those two artificial flavors. I wish there was a coconut one though. That would, that would be fire. This is how it comes in this tiny bag. I think they should make the bags bigger. <laughs> just impossibly. I mean, that's what I would recommend. All right, pink lemonade. That flavor is way stronger than the strawberry one. I really don't like lemonade as a flavor, <laughs> to be honest. I, I don't really like that one at all, but that's just me with the flavor. Like the execution is perfect. I'll have one more piece of the, the pink lemonade for the flavor to simmer in my mouth more. We got the updated ranking one, two, and three. Pink lemonade's good, just not a flavor for me. And uh, these Joyride candies actually aren't in any retail store yet. I think they're coming to Target or Walmart or maybe other places soon, but nothing yet. Only, you can only buy them online, which you can't do right now because they're sold out. So to continue with why I think Ryan Trahan is so effective as a YouTuber, and that's with his like overall theme of human connection, we could take 
perfect evidence of this in his recent Super Bowl video. So he went to the Super Bowl to see the 49ers versus Chiefs and even though like the Super Bowl is like watched by basically everyone in America and this past Super Bowl was literally the most watched Super Bowl because of the Swifties. Uh, it's kind of an esoteric thing for his audience because when you make a Super Bowl vlog, the, the vlog is really about the game rather than yourself and human connection. But Ryan Drahan just being like the masterful just director of his YouTube videos, he made it about his own human connection with his father and how for some time in, in his later teenage years he was growing apart from his father like many teenagers do I would imagine when they started getting all the hormones in them and he started like trying to build a connection with his father in his young 20s and his father also started to get like way healthier and stopped being as depressed as he was and the whole like hook of the video because Casey Neistat put this simply when he said like what's the art to storytelling it's it's the three things you need the problem or like the hook for the video, then you need the build up for that hook or problem, and then you need to finally solve that hook or problem that was introduced at the beginning of the video. And for a Super Bowl video, like the, the, the problem could be like my first ever Super Bowl video, let's see how expensive these this popcorn and like soda and beer is in the stands, or we could just check out like Allegiant Stadium and how beautiful that is, and we get to See like Taylor Swift in the sands and Travis Kelsey, like that could be all like the setup and the execution could be like actually your thoughts like through the entire game and you could be like, oh, I'm missing not on the commercials. And Ryan Trahan does some of this stuff, of course. I mean, it's a vlog, it's a, how a new vlog is gonna go. But like what I think is like truly special about this Ryan Trahan and how that video ends is the fact that like the whole hook is for him to try and throw a pass to his dad on the field. And of course, since he's not like an actual NFL player, he doesn't get to do that on the field, but he does it at the stands. And that's the very last clip of the video. And overall, I, that video doesn't have the most views compared to his other, probably more interesting ideas because that one is just basically a vlog of the Super Bowl, even though to me, that's awesome. It's esoteric to most of his audience, especially like, I would guess, the male to female ratio is close to like one to one, two to one with his videos, I would assume, because he doesn't like cater that much to just a male audience. So that's why, um, yeah, Ryan Trahan, even in a Super Bowl video, makes that human connection. And by the way, this like set of four different candies and air freshener and stickers, it costed me $25, but this is like me basically donating $25 to Trahan to just support him and his content because he does actually entertain me. All right, the sour green apple strips, I'm most excited for this flavor. All right, green apple, I'm excited. That really is just a nice, subtle, sour flavor, and it, you don't get that like overloading sugar taste. I like it. Yeah, I would totally have these two flavors again. The pink lemonade, the strawberry. Good candy, Ryan Trahan. Definitely would try again, and I'm looking forward to your future flavors. This video isn't to blindly praise him. Obviously, I know all humans make mistakes. We're all flawed humans. And I'm sure he's made mistakes that he's regret, but that he doesn't really publicize because we only see like a slight fraction of his life. And a cool Apple Vision Pro video, even though like the whole YouTube community knew that that video was coming. Still excellent, excellent video in the execution. And uh, he also like, I don't know if he started the trend, but he's one of the YouTubers who popularized like just talking to like a microphone while having a like, camera film and you're getting like the audio from the microphone, not the camera. Uh, he did that with his like game plan during his Penny series. A game plan. Yeah, that's uh, my review on Ryan Trahan's Candy and his YouTube channel. I thought it was fun to combine both because really just trying these is just worthy of a YouTube short talking about his channel. Yeah, I could have made that into a video. And I did. So uh, I think Ryan Trahan brings joy to many people's lives while we're all on this ride that we call life. Get it? Joy Ride? I just mentioned it. Yes. Good name. I like the Joy Ride. I think that's what Ryan Trahan wants his YouTube channel to be. 
Just a joy ride to watch. A joy ride to eat these things. That's it. Don't know if I executed a human connection here, but good candy.